Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will gonna see how can a medical school get an ECFMG sponsor note. I will also tell you about the requirements that the medical school must complete before applying for sponsor note. All the information that I am providing is from the official website of ECFMG. The link of the website is in the description. You can see that the medical school will submit a request to ECFMG for an ECFMG sponsor note. When a request is received, ECFMG will evaluate whether the medical school meets the requirements to be granted an ECFMG sponsor note or not. There is a complete long list of requirements that the medical school must complete before sending email to ECFMG. Out of the long list of requirements, these are the main requirements that a medical school must have to complete before requesting a sponsor note. First I will read these points and later I will tell you a simplified version. First point is that your medical school is recognized at a, as a medical school and is permitted to operate by the government. Second one is that the medical school meets the government accreditation requirements if they apply. Here accreditation means the process of officially recognizing the medical school for being qualified to perform a particular activity. Third point is that the degree awarded to the graduates of that medical school meets the medical education eligibility requirements for licensure to practice clinical medicine in the medical school country. Fourth point is the duration of the program of study leading to the medical degree is not less than four credit years. And the fifth point of requirements is that the primary campus of the medical school should be located in that country. This point usually applies to a medical school that has multiple branches. So overall in simple words, the medical school should be permitted to operate by the government of that country. This is a very simple point and it is usually met by almost all the medical colleges in many countries. The degree provided by the medical school should be valid and the graduates of that medical school should be allowed to practice in their country. And the duration of MBBS should be more than 4 years. You can check the long list of requirements on the website of ECFMG but these are the main concerned points. Let me give you an example. We will go to the website of World Directory of Medical Schools as I told you in the previous video. After clicking on the search tab, I opened the details of this medical school in Gujarat. This medical school was established in 2018. Currently the first batch of this medical college that is the MBBS batch 2018 should be doing MBBS right now in 2023. In India when the first batch of medical school graduates then medical school is recognized by the government authorities. When the medical school will be recognized and allowed to operate by the National Medical Council, only then first and second point will be completed. So students of batch 2018 of this medical college have to wait for recognition of their medical school by the National Medical Council of India. They cannot take USMLE step 1 exam during the third year of their medical school. After best 2018 graduates, then medical school will be officially recognized to operate in India. Another point for requirements will be completed when this batch gets its MBBS degree and is allowed to practice in India. I hope this point is clear. Moving on, next requirement is about the duration. After clicking on the program details, you can check the duration of the curriculum. Here you can see it is more than 4 years. Usually med school study programs that is MBBS of most countries are of 5 and five to 5.5 five and years long. So this requirement is automatically fulfilled in many medical schools. Moreover, this college does not have any other branches. So it clearly completes this criteria. Moving on further. To begin the process, an official of the medical school must send an email to this highlighted email address. This step is usually done by the management of the medical school, just similar to their recognition by their national government authorities or the medical council in that country. The format of email is like this. You can pause and take screenshot. I had created this sample email format. There is no official format available anywhere. You can make changes in this email if you need but be specific about the ECFMG sponsor note. So in the end of this email, you will write the medical school details. 
the details should be filled as per the data on your medical school on the official website of world directory of medical schools that is wdoms.org after this you will write the program details that is the details about the mbbs program in your medical school sometimes medical school email is also mentioned on their website try to send this email using that website of your medical school refer to the website wdoms.org for the program details moving on after sending the email the medical school officials will be provided with a request form the form must be completed in full and signed by the dean of the medical school the official seal of the medical school must be affixed to the form in this form the medical school will fill the basic details about the medical school and the mbbs program the completed form must be returned to the ecfmg along with all required documentations as detailed on the form all the details should be completed and instructions on the form should be followed after these steps ecfmg will contact the appropriate government authorities to confirm the school eligibility so these are the crucial steps that your medical school management has to perform it may take some time for ecfmg and the authorities to respond another important point in the process of getting the ecfmg sponsor note is that the students or the graduates of a medical school cannot submit a request on school's behalf so have some patience and let the management of the medical school do the official work it also says that submission of a request does not guarantee that a ecfmg sponsor note will be given but in most cases when medical school provides correct details then most likely ecfmg grants the sponsor note moving on there is another important news regarding new changes in 2024 starting in 2024 ecfmg will begin implementation of ecfmg recognized accreditation policy in simple words from 2024 the external organizations like world federation of medical education will check whether national recognition authority of a country follows basic standard protocols to give recognition to medical schools in that country previously this was not required currently this is the status of accreditation worldwide most of the countries are recognized already as far as india is concerned nmc states that they will be recognized by march 2024 let's see what happens here is the quick summary medical school must complete these requirements medical school must be permitted by the government must give valid degree to their graduates the graduates of that school must be allowed to practice and the duration of mbbs should be more than 4 years after completing these requirements following steps should be followed the next two steps are to be done by medical school management they will send email to their website i had given you email format and other details already then school officials will fill the form and submit required documents after this step ECFMG will contact government authorities of that country for verification of medical school documents and the status of their recognition. After that ECFMG sponsor note will be provided. It is a long process. It may take several months to complete. I had gone through the complete list of medical schools that were established in 2018 and 2017 and not even a single college has sponsor note right now. till this month july 2023 they may get a sponsor note in the future or maybe their school is in the middle of the process i had seen that some schools that were established in 2016 had been given sponsor note but some are still in the process this can get a little frustrating sometimes but things do take time i advise you to join a medical school that already has sponsor note so that you can give usmle staff an exam in your third prof So finally when the medical school gets the ECFMG sponsor note what will you do you will apply to USMLE step 1 exam I hope this video was helpful and informative like subscribe support next video will be on how to apply for USMLE step 1 exam step by step because it is a long process it will take some time to complete next video it will be available by December of this year most probably